You know, I think we need to clarify some of the differences between President Obama's Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, and Mitt Romney's ideas on national health care. In the first debate, Romney said that he wanted to still make sure that people with pre-existing conditions would be covered. Then his campaign staff walked that back and said, well, no, his plan would only provide for people with previous coverage to stay covered, so you can't wait till you get sick, then go get insurance. And there's been a lot of talk about inconsistencies, but one thing that Romney has been very consistent about, at least in the 2011-2012 campaign cycle, has been he's always said he wants people with pre-existing conditions to have access to health care, not that insurance companies can't discriminate by pre-existing conditions. What's the difference? Let me put it this way. My mother has glaucoma in both eyes, gout, arthritis, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Now, God forbid that my mother was to lose her job. Under Romney's plan, my mom would technically have access to health care in that no insurance company could deny to cover her, but insurance companies could discriminate in that they could charge as much as they wanted to. So. Under Rami's plan, my mom would technically have access to health care if she lost her job, but practically wouldn't be able to afford it. So I guess under Romney's plans, my mom would just go blind with the glaucoma, be crippled with arthritis and gout, and likely die of high blood pressure and sugar diabetes. But hey, technically she has access. Another problem with Romney's plans is that he says it has to be done at a state level. Now when it comes to implementing the exchanges just for Obamacare, quite a few states like Texas have said, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to even raise state taxes, not even 10% of the cost, even if you meet us 90% of the way. No, we don't want to do anything to help the poor. I mean, that is effectively what Rick Perry's Texas has said. And at least under Rick Scott, that's what Florida has been doing too. Rick Scott has said, no, we will not do anything. No. So you've got Romney saying, oh yes, let's make sure people are covered. Oh, but do it at a state level. What about states that just say, no, we won't do it. And even in the state where Mitt Romney was governor, Massachusetts, Mitt Romney likes to say he did not raise taxes to cover universal health care in Massachusetts. Well, technically that's false. There was a hospital tax which got redirected to cover Romney care in Massachusetts. But also there were two federal sources of, of funding to sources of federal tax dollars that went towards funding Romney care in Massachusetts. Under a Romney administration, he's given some signs that he would like the federal government to stop spending that money. So even in his home state of Massachusetts, it is questionable whether Massachusetts would want to go it alone to completely fund 100% of universal health care for the very poor in that state that cannot afford their own health care. So under a Romney presidency, it is likely that even Massachusetts would lose its 
universal health care that it currently has.